So how does it work if you want to lock the control center while the iPhone is locked? Now, obviously, you might want to do this to prevent someone else accessing it, so it is a good feature. However, the first guess for most people is to open up the settings and go to the control center menu, but unfortunately, there isn't really anything there except for access within apps, and this doesn't really do much of course. So what we need to do is to find the face ID and passcode section. If your phone has touch ID instead of face ID, then this menu will be named accordingly. But essentially, you just get inside and you have to authenticate yourself by typing in your current passcode. Now, once you're in, you can see a bunch of different settings and options to change, but just scroll directly to the bottom until you find the allow access when locked section. And this consists of a bunch of different toggles which you can tweak, and one of them is the control center. So simply you want to turn it off, and it just means that during the locked state of the phone, the control center will simply not be accessible. iPhone needs to be unlocked first, and then you can get to the control center. And obviously, this is the thing that you wanted to achieve. As you are already in here, it makes sense to check out some other options. Perhaps you might be interested in disabling the notification center or the lock screen widgets or live activities. So more things to check out in here. But the main one for you, I guess, is the control center. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope that you manage to enable it or disable it essentially have it as you want. So subscribe for more guides and tips like this one. Most definitely let me know below in the comments if there are some more thoughts or questions you might have. Uh, leave them, leave your comments and thoughts below and I'll see you later in the next videos.